Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel and in this video we are going to talk about how to set up Docker Engine Enterprise Server on Windows Server 2019 in GCP. Well, I have given a link in the description of this video, so please follow those links. First of all, come to this page as this page has the image for your Docker Engine for your Google Cloud. Just click on launch button and if you use this image, you will have all those things that you might need in order to have your Docker engine on your Windows Server 2019 on its own. After that, give your deployment any name. I'll name it as Docker. After that, select your zone and then down here, select your machine type as every machine have different resources. I'll go with the first option, then scroll down and click on I accept the term. Click on deploy now. It will take few seconds to deploy our machine, so we'll wait for it. We are done here with the deployment. And now to get start with our Docker engine on our Windows Server 2019, here we have an option that says RDP. Along with that, we have a drop down arrow button. Click on it and click on set Windows password. Here it says username. I'll set my username and I'll again go with docker underscore vm and make sure you put everything in small letter. Click on set and now it will give us a password. So remember this username and copy that password somewhere safe. Here it is. I'll just copy that. I'll click on close now. And now in order to connect to our remote desktop connection, go to your navigation menu and click on compute engine because there is something that we also need to copy and that is external IP address of our virtual machine. Here it is. I'll just copy it and now I'll search for remote desktop connection. I'll just click on that and I'll paste the IP address. Click on connect. Now it will ask us about the username and password. And here, give your username. And in my case, it was docker underscore vm. Then in terms of password, write the password or paste it that you had copied earlier. So I have just done that. Click on OK. And now it will prompt you with something like this. Do not worry. Click on yes. And now it will open the remote session for Windows Server 2019 for us. As you can see, it is opening it up now. So let's wait for it and then move ahead. So here we have our Windows Server up and running. Now I'll open my command prompt as an administrator. And first of all, we'll check here if our Docker is running or not. So I'll write here docker space run space hello dash world colon nano server. This command will check if our Docker is running or not. And here it says, unable to find image hello world nano server locally. Now it is pulling it from the libraries. It will download some of the files. So we'll wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead. And here you can see here it says hello from Docker. It means our Docker is up and running. And now we are ready to move ahead and perform other activities. And now we need to configure our Docker for Linux containers. For that purpose, we have to use some commands. So either you can follow me from the video or you can check out the link in the description. That link will take you to this page that says how to set up Docker Engine container on Windows Server, Azure, AWS, GCP. If you scroll down, you will see all the steps that are given and every guide that you might need in order to set up your Docker Engine. So we are done with the first step and now we need to configure our Docker. And for that purpose, first of all, we need to install Hyper-V. So what I'll do here, I'll just copy this command or I can click on this button that says copy. And now let's paste the command that we have copied. After that, hit enter. And now in order to install the Linux container on Windows Server, we need to follow this or you can say we need to copy this command. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in here. Hit enter. We are done here with this one. Now I'll go back again to my article and this time I'll copy this command. I'll paste this command and here you should press Y for the all option. So I'll just enter Y and hit enter. And here it has started the process. It will take a little bit of time. So we'll wait for it. And we are done here. And now this is the second command. Just hit enter and let the process get complete. We are done here with this one as well. And now let's go back. Now we need to copy this command in order to enable Linux Kit system 
to run Linux container and then we'll restart our Docker. So I'll just copy this command. I'll paste it in here. And now we have to restart our Docker. So just hit enter now. So we have successfully restarted our Docker service. And now we are left with this command. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in here. Hit enter. And now just remember last few lines after this command. And if you see here, both are same. It means we are working pretty fine and everything is okay. And now it's time to configure our Docker enterprise to run the Windows container. So again, we just need to copy this command and we'll do everything just like we did earlier. And I'll paste it in here. First of all, let's clear our screen and let's paste it in here and hit enter. We are done with this one. Let's go back and let's copy the next one. Let's paste it, hit enter again. We are done with this one as well. Let's go back again and let's copy the next command. And again, it will restart our Docker service. I'll paste it in here and I will hit enter to restart it. And now let's copy this command in order to see if we get hello world as an answer or not. Let's paste this, hit enter. And here you can see here it says hello from Docker. It means it is working pretty fine. We are done with everything till this point and now what we need to do we need to run our docker and we need to create some containers here we have three different links first one is for base images then we have container base image and then at the end we have remote management of windows docker host i'll open all of these links and i'll show you that how you can do that well here it says container base images these two are most common windows server core and nano server I'll show you one of them that how you can do that. So let's go to Windows Server Core and let's see how we can do that. So let's open it. From here, we have two options. Either we can go for 2019 and we can go for 2022. As we are working on 2019, I'll just copy this one and I'll go back to my Windows Server 2019. And here I'll just paste this command and now hit enter. Here it is downloading everything. It will take very few seconds as you can see. We are done here and we have been successful to install the Windows Server Core. You can follow these documentations and they are in very detail and every step have been mentioned in here as these are from the Microsoft itself so you do not need to worry about anything. And that brings me to the end of this video. And don't forget to check out the links for the step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Docker Engine containers on Windows Server in GCP. And don't forget to check out the link that contains the image on the GCP marketplace for the Docker engine. And if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next time, take care.